it's Nafola. If you've not subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos. If you've been my support since day one, I really appreciate your great support. And if this is your first time here or if you're seeing me, uh, this is your first video that you're having an encounter with me, I will suggest you go back and watch all my other videos. I did a lot of videos on photo requirements. I did videos on how to place an application and all that is needed to apply for the DV lottery. Before you ask a question, please go back and make sure you've watched all other videos and I've not addressed your question. Then you can go ahead and type your question. I would also like to send a shout out to everybody participating in my life. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate your comments, uh, your questions. We are learning together. So I really appreciate that. And I also want to appreciate all my subscribers. We're up to more than 10,000 subscribers. So I just want to thank you for clicking that subscribe button. I know it's just like simple, you click, but not everybody does that. If you took a moment and decided to subscribe on my channel, I appreciate your support. I'm glad that I was able to teach you something and you are able to teach me something as well. If you've been following me for a while, you've realized like my introduction today has been a little bit different. It's a little fancier. Uh, my name appears there in pink. I love pink as you can see. Uh, and my name appears there and you're wondering, oh, what's up with this introduction today? And I'm excited because I have something new for all of you guys. Something that will help me and will help you as well. So if you've noticed on my introduction today, I have a website there. So I'm launching my new website and my website is going to be nafulaconnect.com. The website name again is nafulaconnect.com. So if you go in your computer or in your phone and then you type nafulaconnect.com, it's going to bring you right to my website and you're able to send me an email. You're able to sign up. You're able to do a lot of things on my website so a lot of people have been asking me uh we don't know anybody in the united states so if we win the green card lottery what happens after that and i've been thinking about it i'm like how can we help everybody i want to get like everybody who wants to get involved in helping people it has a chance to do that so that's the reasoning behind the website so the website is gonna have a button that you can click and it's a hosting button so if you want to be a host, like maybe you are in the United States and you want to host somebody like you have room for one person, for two people, for three people, or however many people you can host, you can go and sign up there and say, you know what, I'm ready to host like two people. And then on the website again, we have a website for the DV lottery winners. So if you want the DV lottery and you still haven't found a host, you can sign up there. So for people signing up to be hosts, like if they live in the United States, I realize like a lot of people in the United States have a problem with childcare or maybe it's like single parent homes and you want to go to work, you don't have anybody to live in the house. You can make a deal with somebody. You're like, you know what, I'm going to host you for six months or I'm going to host you for three months. And then in return, you're going to help me with, you know, helping me with kids. They're not going to be like a nanny or watching your kids. They just help you when you're not there. Like maybe you're going to work and then you need somebody to sleep in the house with the kids or maybe you're at work and you need somebody to just prepare a quick meal for your kids or give food for your kids while you're at work. You can talk to these people. Like I'll try to match a host and a guest so that you can talk to each other. You can be like, you know what, if you can help me like, you know, with the kids when I'm away at work or maybe uh, if you can help me with this and then I can host you for free. So the goal is trying to match a host and a guest. So a host needs somebody to help with something. The guest needs a place to stay. Can you talk to each other and come into a consensus? You're like, you know what? Please give me a place to live for like three months and six months. And in return, I can help you. Like, you know, when you go to work, you don't have to worry about your kids. I'll stay home with the kids. You take care of your kids. You can cook for them. The kids are your own responsibility, but I'll just be there when you're at work and I can watch the kids for you and when you're at home, I'll be going to work. And that way is a win-win situation and they can host you for free. Otherwise, it's so hard to just get somebody or find somebody who's just gonna let you in their house to just live there for free if they don't, need, they don't know you. So you have to make a deal. 
The second one, if you're a host and maybe you don't have kids, so you don't want to host anybody for free. You can make a deal with these people. You know, they're coming from Africa. They're coming from third world countries. Um, some of them, they don't have money. So you can make a deal. You're like, you know, I'll offer you a room, but instead you'll be paying me like maybe $200 a month, 300, 400, 500. How much do you want me? Um, how much do you want to pay for you being in my house? So you can talk to this host and be like, hey, I have $200 a month. Can you please let me stay with you for three months? Or maybe I have $500 a month. Can you let me stay at your house for five months or six months while I get my papers and I go to work? So I'll try to pay you rent for you accommodating me. So that's another thing. And then a third option, I can try to match a host and a guest and you can talk to each other. The host will be like, I don't have kids, I have room. But you know what i can offer accommodation to one person for free and then on the host side they have like a place where they can say okay i have two rooms or i have whatever i can accommodate up to five people and then they can choose whoever they prefer they can prefer either to accommodate just people from kenya or people from everywhere uh, another one they can choose they have an option to choose what gender because some people they wouldn't be open to like you know living with a man or living with a woman so if you you can put when you sign up you can just say i prefer a woman or female or a male or i prefer any so you can put the number of people you can accommodate at a time and then you can choose their gender and then third you can choose if you want them to pay you so the sign up is gonna be one for a host who wants to host uh, dv lottery winners or guests the second one is gonna be uh, for the guests who are looking for accommodation usually is DV lottery winners and we just uh, I just put another spot for like somebody who's visiting the United States maybe you're visiting and you're from Kenya and you want to come on a tourist visa and instead of living in a hotel you prefer to live with another Kenyan who can show you around or because you know it's same culture so it's gonna be easier for you so we have a spot for people to sign up like if they're on a visitors visa and then they want to come here to visit and they prefer to stay with a Kenyan we can match the person with a Kenyan uh, and then they can talk to each other they're like you know I can pay this amount of money a month or I can do this for you so after you guys I match you to is up to you to talk to each other and figure out how you gonna do it so pretty much my platform will be like just like sending somebody a friend request so you are a guest you're requesting for a host you are a host you can accommodate somebody and then my platform is just gonna match you two together and then after that you can talk and decide what you want to do after that if you have questions you can just type under this link below and then i can answer those questions it's still in the works so usually when you go and sign up you might have like you know some issues in the beginning because it's a new website but you know what just give me time cut me some slack get all the logistics working so that it's you know the website is up and running for you to sign up so the first thing on the website is going to be a general sign up like if you apply for the dv lottery and you want to get updates either on how many hosts we have or any, anything that's new in regards to the application or after you win you can sign up with your email and that's just like for everybody like everybody who wants to sign up who apply for the green card or if they're planning to visit the united states at some point you can put in your email there so we have it so if we have like a number of hosts we'll be just you know sending an email we're like like hey we have this many hosts if you want to you know participate in the program of if you want to be matched with a host please send us an email back so we'll be sending all those emails but we can't get to you until you sign up so you have to sign up with your email and then so you can be part of uh, the community so the second sign up is gonna be host and guest pairing and that's just for like people who are sure they're coming to the united states so one either they're dv lottery winners who already have an interview and they know they're coming and two either they have a visitor's visa and they're visiting the u.s and they already have a date where they're coming to the united states and three is gonna be for the host so this is gonna be like where the host signs up that they wanna you know they can accommodate a certain number of people 
and like i said this is gonna be like you know in the trial phase so we'll try to see if it works or not if it doesn't then that's fine but then at least we'll say we tried because i know a lot of people are like oh uh, nafula can you host us uh i can only host so many people like if so many people win the green card lottery there's no possibility of me hosting everybody so Anybody out there who's either in America or they have relatives in America and they really have a heart of helping other people with just accommodation for like a few months until they get like, you know, their feet on the ground, get a job and get their own place, please sign up so that at least you can give these people who maybe they don't know anybody in the U.S. a chance to come to the United States of America. And at the end of this video, I'm just going to hop on my uh, website nafulaconnect.com and I will just help you how to navigate. It's pretty easy website to navigate. I just made it easy because I understand like you know most people uh, back home they're not very good with like you know very uh, detailed things or very complicated things about websites. I try to make it as simple as I could uh, to sign up especially the sign up form is pretty much easy. Uh, so if you I'll go on the website and I'll try to actually walk you through how you can sign up if you need a host and then the next thing I'm excited about this so the next thing is gonna be you know the way on this show we promote cultural heritage there's so many people who want like maybe t-shirts that I have like you know they have the African touch to it and maybe you're trying to look for it in the United States and you can't find any guess what Nafula got you covered so on my website I'm selling t-shirts hats mugs with an African touch either with traditional colors or maybe with the name of the country so go to my website and check it out it's pretty fancy stuff it's called Nafula collection so with the t-shirts or everything on um, Nafula collection the brain behind the designing but then the actual person who did the graphic design is from Africa so somebody who is in Africa put the designs together with an African touch so if you want to check them out uh, they're not pr pretty expensive so I just made it so that they, you know like it's pretty much affordable I have kids stuff I have men stuff I have women stuff I have all this stuff so I'm gonna navigate my website again and then I'm gonna show you how to order so you can order it whatever um, and then they'll just ship it to your door and as I said I'm gonna put one of them one of the t-shirts so you can see uh, the different designs and this is one of these designs uh, it has like the Kenyan uh, African flag colors on it and it says Kenya right here at the bottom so there's this one and then you can go on the website to see a whole a full picture you can go on my website to see uh, the full picture of this t-shirt okay let me go put on uh, the next one so this next one is pretty cool too it says Africa our pride we are proud of being you know African where we're from so this if you want to purchase this it's gonna be on my website too it says Africa our pride how proud can you be like if you express your pride of Africa by wearing a t-shirt and it has like African colors it has like you know uh, something that shows um, like there's a tree right here it represent like a safari or something like that so i was just able to get the two designs made and ship the other ones haven't arrived yet if the other ones arrive i'll be wearing them on my show so you can see them and but then if you need to order like right now you can rush to the website i'm gonna be offering a discount on them they won't be as expensive and you can order it for your kids for uh, your brothers your sisters your mom your dad like if you're going to like an African event if it's a cookout and it's an African event and you're wondering what should I wear guess what I got you covered run to the website and get the African themed t-shirts and back to what we're here for today knowing the mistakes to avoid on your application that can make you either get disqualified or if you win not get a visa Number one is making uh, like multiple entries, like applying it multiple times. That is like a gen like guaranteed disqualification. So if you apply and then you realize like there's something that you filled on the form wrong, 
don't go back in there and place another application because guess what the first one you place and the second one and the third one you're gonna place all will be disqualified because your information is in there your name your date of birth and everything is in there the system already knows you applied so they will get you disqualified so to avoid make sure you only place one application to stand a chance of being in the draw to actually getting selected but if you get disqualified you won't even make it to the draw so just make sure when you're placing an application you only place one and one and only application if you place any more than one application you're getting disqualified so it's not it's like you never even applied for the dv lottery that is mistake number one to absolutely stay away from apply only one time and if you're like in a married household if your husband applies and the wife applies or if you're a sibling or if you're a kid and then your parents place in an application and then you also place an application that's not applying twice because the principal applicant is different in the first case probably your father applied and then you applied so it's two different people as principal applicant so as long as the principal applicant is different that's considered a separate application but if this uh, is the same name on the principal applicant and then you apply twice you will get disqualified mistake number two is lying on your application and this means like maybe you're single and you're applying as married knowing very well you don't have proof of your marriage that can cost you a visa because you will win and once they realize that you either were single and applied as married or you're married and applied as single you might either get denied a visa or if you lie all the way to the end and then you come to the United States, you will not be able to bring your husband because you didn't include them in the application. Or if you lied, you didn't have kids and you come win and come to the United States, it's going to be hard for you to get them here. So in other words, you'll be living here. Your kids are in Africa, but you don't have the ability to bring them here because you lied on your application and that's you'll live with that guilt because sometimes you have to find people to live with your kids or stay with your kids you have to constantly send them money you have to go back there stay here worried about your children back in africa just because you lied in your application how about apply and just include them you win all of your benefit another thing like if a stepmother or a stepfather so all the kids like if you're married to somebody who has kids those kids are your kids so when you're applying or placing an application you have to include them because if you win it's like oh i'm gonna win the lottery and then i'm gonna wait, go away with your father and then i'm gonna leave you guys here it doesn't work that way so if they find out that you didn't include your step kids you might get disqualified so make sure you include all your step kids and all your adopted children regardless of whether your stepchildren live with you or not you need to include them in the application another important thing to note like if you're including your children and maybe you live in africa or you're in america you don't have legal paperwork you don't have permanent resident but then your children were born in the united states so they were their united states citizens by birth you don't need to include them so if your kids have like you know they're permanent residents they have a green card or the united states citizen you really don't need to include them in your application and you won't be penalized for that so just note that um like so just note that you know like if your kids your spouse uh, anybody has the united states or permanent residency you don't need to include them in the application but then if you do you won't be penalized because you included them so you can choose to either include them or not include them and you know not including them is better because you don't need their photos and all that information you don't need to fill out that information but if you choose to include them that's still fine another mistake that can get you either disqualified or uh mostly disqualified is your photo if you're taking a picture with a red background with a background that's not white or off-white you're taking a picture that's not 600 by 600 pixels you're taking a picture that is greater than 240 uh, kbs that is like you're getting disqualified before you even get into the draw so just make sure that at least the minimum you can do to get it right like if you have to get anything right on the application just make sure you have the correct picture and i showed you how to edit the pictures i showed you how to use a photo tool or to use a computer or your phone so there's really no reason why you are submitting a photo that's not meeting the guidelines 
you can you have all these things at your disposal and you just need time few minutes edit it and then you can apply go to the dv lottery website and you can click on the photo requirements and then you can see what kind of photo they require to meet the guidelines for the dv lottery another thing that can even make you like if you win the green card not to get like um a visa is putting in the wrong eligibility like claiming a wrong eligibility like you have to claim eligibility from your country of birth so if you're born in kenya you claim eligibility as a kenyan so the second question like says are you claiming eligibility from the country you were born you say yes so the only people who claim eligibility from a country that's other than where they are born is if their country is not eligible to apply. So like if you're born in Nigeria, you're born in Brazil, you're born, you're born in probably the UK, and they're not eligible to apply, you can claim eligibility based off of either your parents' place of birth, or you can claim eligibility from your spouse's place of birth, if it's eligible. Other than that, everybody else you have to make sure you're claiming eligibility from the country where you are born not a country where you are a citizen a country where you were born another mistake to avoid uh, try to avoid mistakes about making just you know simple mistake typing your name wrong or uh, typing your date of birth wrong there's some people who go to the interview and then maybe on the ds260 they make the correction and then they go there and they get a visa but there's also people who make the correction on the DS-260 and they go to the interview and they're denied a visa because of that. So if you have like, you know, wrong names or you type your name wrong or your date of birth, some people correct the DS-160 and they're fine. But some people correct it and they go there and they're like, oh, you say this on the application and this you say that. So to avoid just running into problems of the you know like getting denied a visa just because you typed your date of birth wrong or your name wrong or you put a wrong marital status just fill in the correct information that way because millions of people literally millions of people like sometimes more than 14 million people apply for the dv lottery only 50,000 gets a visa it would be sad if you win the green card lottery and not get a visa because it's hard as it is to win the green card lottery so winning and not getting a visa just because you typed something in a rush you won't be able to forgive yourself so just make sure you're taking your time and completing the forms correctly i've been getting like a common or uh, a question that i don't have an answer to but then some people try to submit the application and then it says either you something is wrong with the url or url something contact the administrator i don't know what the answer is to that but for me, what I will do, I will start by, you know, just deleting your history, cookies in there. Try using a different browser. Try and do, you know, uh, restart your computer. You know, try different things. Just try to troubleshoot and see what is wrong. Just make sure you're using the correct browser, you know, um, and deleting your history. Start from there and see if that works. If not, you can try using a different computer. See if that works. If it doesn't, then I really don't have an answer for that because I've never experienced that problem. So I'm just saying whatever I will do. Okay, so to begin, we'll just type nafulaconnect.com. And then when you type nafulaconnect.com, it brings you to this page, which is um, my website. So, um, up here we just have like my logo up here if you want to reach me on instagram you can just click that and then it takes you to my instagram if you want to reach me on facebook you click that and then it's going to take you right to my facebook and if you want to go to my youtube you just click there and then you go straight to the youtube okay so it just says welcome um to Nafula Connect and then it has like you know just brief what the page is about and then a little intro here is just like the video that you just seen in the introduction over there and then down here is about the DV lottery so if you um, want to watch a video like he says American green card uh, DV lottery application step by step when you click on here like that it brings you right to the video so you go back to the video so you can watch the video right there 
and then the same thing with this one how to edit green card using i mean how to edit a photo using a phone you just click and then it brings you right here to the video same thing if you want to watch a root story you just click there and then it takes you right to uh i won the green card lottery um same with this one it brings you here this is winnie uh, she applied for the green card lottery for 2022 after watching the videos so it's just like a, a note from her um here is where you book an appointment i'm not taking any appointments for right now this page is still under construction so once like it's all done then we can i can start doing like consultations on different things so that's where you will book an appointment and then i'll have like an hour 30 minutes 45 minutes 15 minutes um but that's not done yet and then this is where you can shop my merch and this is um, the designs i was talking about so you have my designs and then there we have like these kids here their models they were not paid absolutely not paid to be here as you can see when you look at all these eyes they look like nafulas so they're my kids um so and then here you have the men's collection um and then here is um, additional videos and then when you go all the way up here uh, if you want to shop for the t-shirts it's here you can just click on that and then you can see the different designs and the prices um, and then you can go ahead and click um, if you want to um, order like this one here you just click on it and then when you come here you can select colors like you see this one is black so you can see how the design looks in different um colors like that and then if you want to order you just go down here you select the color if you want navy um maybe you want a medium and then you just want one and then you click add and then it says add it so when you go to the cart i have like several stuff in there so when you go here then you see um if you want like this is a hat um i'll click on it so you see like if you want to buy a hat um there's different colors that um you have you can choose from looks pretty cool um and then so that's that and then here with the blog this is just like you know general stuff about the green card lottery so if you want to read what is what's the uh, program about i'm just going to be it's like a personal blog so i'm just going to be doing this is it's still under construction so uh but there's some important stuff there that you can read okay and then here is about so if you want to know uh about nafula is nafula story uh and then i'm from bungoma so you can read my story over there and then so for you guys this is the important part where it says guest and host pairing so this is this page is for only the people either who won the green card lottery or they have a visitors a valid visitors visa and they're planning to come to the united states and then thirdly there it's also for people who want to host or they have an interest in hosting people so if you're a dv lottery winner we just want your name uh, date of birth the country you're from the gender and this is because we're asking for your country because some people just prefer to host people from their country so we want to if you want to match you with your host we want to have like you know all that information and then the gender because some people will just prefer male female uh, to host either male or female and then how many people because some people we just don't assume like it's one maybe it's a family who want a green card so it'd be like you know a mother a father and the kids and you need to put your confirmation number if you're uh, filling out this form that you want we need your confirmation number so we can see the case number so that way we can look at the bulletin and then just kind of like estimate when you'll be coming to the united states in case you haven't had an interview yet so we can kind of like you know uh make a guesstimate on when you'll be coming so that we can pair you with the host and then we need your phone number if we need to reach you for anything and the email address 
down here you can just put accommodations like you know you can type in there anything um if you need special accommodation if you're disabled or if you need anything um or you have any questions or you have any preference um you can just write your blurb right here and then click the send and then over here if you have a visitor's visa then you put your name your gender and your age uh the country you're from when you'll be coming here how long do you plan to stay uh, how much can you pay the host per month? Um, the phone number, email address, and then again, special uh, accommodation there. Down here is where the hosts sign up. So this is for people who live in America and they're willing or they have a heart. They're like, you know, I want to help people. Um, I want to host somebody even for three months, six months until they get, you know, um, get stable here and then they can move find their own place or if you guys get along they can you know live with you permanently and you can share bills so the whole sign up you have to put your name your phone number email address a special accommodation maybe you can be like you know i want to uh, host somebody i have kids i'm gonna i'm not gonna charge them anything so they'll be living in my house for free in return like if i go to work they can watch my kids and then when i come back then they can go to work and then we can just share responsibilities like that. Or maybe I need to be paid a certain amount and in addition they can do this. Um, so you can put all that in here. And then you can say what country you're from or if you don't prefer to say you can just click this box here. And then how many people can you accommodate in your house? One, two, three, four, five. Um, what ages? Some people don't like young people. Some people don't like older uh population so you can just uh, specify your age range um, and then your gender some people will not live with a man or a female or um, they have a preference so you can say male female or if you don't mind or you don't care what gender then you can just click the any and then preferred country of origin if you prefer just to host um, you know somebody from like your country if you're Kenyan and you just want to host only Kenyan people you can write Kenya here if you if you prefer like to host any you can say no preference or uh, any is fine and then here pay range you can say free um, and over there like up here you can indicate like it's child care or whatever you want to help you want help with child care or if you want to you know between zero and five hundred five hundred and one thousand or above one thousand um, you can put it here how long can you host if you want to do a day you want to host for a month you want to host for two weeks like how long do you want to host these people uh, you can put the preference here and then you click send so this is a pretty cool way like to um, match the host and the guest so that way you can talk to each other and see how you can help each other out like if you need they need childcare nobody's gonna host you in the house for free unless you know them if you don't know them it's very hard for just a stranger to be like yeah just come to my house and leave rent free bills free america is all about paying bills so if you're not going to be contributing with paying bills you need to show that you know you're living in somebody's house for free but then you're helping either with the kids you're helping out with something around the house you can't just be sitting there like that's your parents house it doesn't work that way that's why a lot of people come here and then they get after a few months they don't get along with the host because you know you live there that you live like the way you live at your parents house no it's a completely different thing so when you come and then immediately you get a job either you move out and get your own place if you continue staying there you have to pay bills even if it's the house and you think like you moving out is not going to change the rent. As long as you live there, you have to pay. Because once you leave the house and you go get your own place, you realize how expensive it is to live in America. If you live in somebody's house, you think life is very easy. Once you're out on your own, it gets really tough because you have to pay rent. You have to pay bills. You have to pay like, you know, uh, if you have um, electric, you have to pay gas. You have to pay all that. So you're better off like if you get along, you can stick there, stick around longer. That way you can go to school and work and be flexible and do a lot of things other than moving out on your own and, you know, having to pay everything uh, for yourself. 
So this is a nice thing um, that I came up with. So if it works, um, then we'll do that. But if it doesn't, then we'll be like, you know, at least we tried to make it work, but it didn't work. So we'll look for uh, a plan B. If you just applied for the green card lottery, you've not won the green card lottery, you don't have a visa to come to America, what you want to do is you want to go down all the way at the bottom of the page and you're going to sign up, like all the way down here. Where it says sign up to receive new visa updates, you will enter your email here and then you're going to sign up for that. And you can do like, you know, even if you go to my um, about page, all the way at the bottom, you get, you sign up. So if you just applied for the green card lottery, sign up here so that when you win the green card lottery and you send us a message, you're like, you know, I signed up and I won the green card lottery. Then you can go here and then you can put your information here. So that way we'll see that you signed up prior to that. So you'll get priority. Like if a host opens up, you'll be get priority because you signed up earlier. So just make sure go over there if you applied for the green card lottery go all the way at the bottom of the of my page and sign up right here this page is just for the people who um already either won the green card lottery and they have an interview schedule or these ones who are visiting the united states and for the hosts who want to host people but then down here is for everybody if you want to um be considered in the future when you win like next year make sure you sign up right here otherwise check out my merch i have like pretty designs look at this african africa of pride we have kenyan independence since 1963 uh, positive vibes we have amazing pretty cool designs awesome so uh, you can order and then when you order it gets shipped right to your door. How cool is that? So check out my website. Leave me a comment if you like my website. And um, thank you so much for watching.